Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about saving a query as function in KQL with parameters so that the same can be reused uh, across multiple places like inside a workbook, inside a logic app and in this current editor itself. Now to do that what we would do is start typing a query which basically gives some visibility so start with sign in logs and we will summarize the total count or we can name it total sign ins as the total count and fail sign ins equal to count f result type not equal to zero and the same thing can be repeated to capture the successful signage <clears throat> so we just renamed a particular piece successful signage and make the result type as zero <clears throat> we do it by bin and with time frame time generated 30 minutes so that it's going to show us the data for every 30 minutes and we are going to run this to see how it looks like and uh, it's running right now and uh, once it's executed completely right we should be able to see you know 30 minutes for all the users we have right so and now as a next piece we can also put a filter on user principal name contains let's say we will give it for admins and at the end of the query basically we will render that as a time chart and let us try to run this now so ideally that should show us the data only for the admin user right which is what it is showing right now total sign in failed sign ins and successful sign ins now what if if we want to parameterize the contains so we would be using a name here which you can call it you know given name and then we will be making sure that uh, this is not a part of any column now we copy that and we quickly try to save this as a function and when we do so basically there is one thing pops up on the right hand side to save the function and we can name it as sign in stats and we would want it to go to the custom category and because we want this function to be parameterized we're going to select the parameter type as string and we're going to paste it the given name and let us remove or leave empty the default value and we save it and uh, once we save it basically what happens is that particular query is saved as a function within the log analytics workspace and as you can see the query tab is renamed as the particular function all right now if we just go to the function tab and try to expand the workspace function we can see the function here and once we keep this over here right uh, we can try to click on use an editor and i think uh, let's close it and uh, what would happen is if we go and repeat the same thing in a new query window and try to close the previous one and let us hover on the new function and uh, you know use in editor so you see the alias came in and it also shows we have to pass a parameter for given name so herein we will try to pass a parameter for a username and let us try to run this all right you can see this is going to give us the visual for that particular user what is being passed and 
once that happens in case we want to call it for another user we're gonna change it to another user with admin right now and let us rerun the query all right and once we do so you can see this is showing for another users all right now this is was a small example of how you can basically save a particular line of code or a business logic into a saved function which can be reused and can be visible within the workspace itself thank you